What's going on everyone? Welcome back to our Arizona Diamondbacks franchise mode. We are in the month of June, one month away from the draft and the All-Star Game and the Home Run Derby and the fucking trade deadline. July will be quite a year. Uh, now, usually we didn't do it last year, but normally we go down and we take a look at our minor league squad, see how they're doing, take a look at the prospects. But for the most part, most of these prospects will be called up uh, for the September deadline. Uh, there's not really much use to really see some of these guys. I mean, they're all fucking studs. We have nothing but studs in our entire organization. Uh, so we're just going to stick to the MLB um, for, again, the second year in a row. Uh, I mean, I think it's kind of worth it. We're the best team in the league, not by much, and we're looking to extend that lead or at least differentiate ourselves from more than just, like, 20 different teams because there's literally a bunch of teams that can catch up to us this month if we have a bad month. Um, we did just split a series with a tough Milwaukee Brewers squad. They are, have the second best record in the league, and we just barely lost those games. I mean, we wound up having a strong game one, 4 1 win. Milwaukee, we beat them 7 6, and then we lose 3 2 and 5 3. So, tough two games there. I would have liked to beat Gaddis at least. I mean, Woodford seems to be having a good season, 5 0, 4.44 ERA. Not the greatest, but still. Um, we also did find out that steals wise, Milwaukee is leading the league and we're fourth place with like, I think it's like 39 or something like that, 39. And we're in fourth, which is really good, but Milwaukee's in first and they have like 20 more steals than we do. So it is pretty cool to see like the big gap between a first place ranked team in a category and like even the fourth rank. So Milwaukee definitely stealing a lot more bases than we are. Um, but either way, let's uh, start off this uh, month here. We got the Houston Astros. We got Hunter Brown, Christian Javier. Hunter Brown not really turning into what a lot of people thought he would, I guess. A 5.43 ERA. I think he's going to be a much better pitcher in real life. But Christian Javier is still doing good. Strikeouts aren't quite there, but the ERA is... Um, and something I noticed this season as well, pitching-wise, even though our pitchers are great, they are all digressing. All of them. Zach Gallon's digressing. Otani's a uh, regressing. Uh, Nola's regressing. Soroka's going up, and nothing from really Lazardo, but really, so much digression coming from regression coming from our pitchers. I mean, last season was going to be a tough season for Helsley to really imitate again, having a sub-1 ERA um, through 55 innings pitch, but we might be able to get that back down into the twos. I don't expect him to stay up there in the fours for too long, um, but either way, like I said, let's just start moving right on along. We got the Houston Astros up. We got Hunter Brown against Otani and then Gallon against Javier. Two regressing pitchers on our team. Two dubs. There's the first dub. Now we got Helsley in. Let's see. We did take the lead with Gallon in. I don't know if he was in the bottom of the six though when we took the lead again. Nah, nah. Gallon's not going to take the dub. Yeah, Gallon wouldn't take the dub. Just because of the way the scoring went. So it probably would go to a relief pitcher, but trying to close them out, get a two-game series sweep. I mean, not as impressive as, like, a three-game series or four-game series, but we'll take it. We'll take it. We got their three-hitter, 0 for 4 today with a strikeout. Want the 12-6 to start? Oh, I got you. It's funny that we're one of the best teams in the league, and we have one of the best farm systems in the league. So Helsley, wow, Andrew Chafin, he's just had a of a fucking year. We get rid of him this offseason for some prospects, because we need to free up some cap to be able to sign our minor league squad, and who's leading the league in saves? <laughs> if we could have kept Chafin, 
and you didn't have all the money issues, I definitely would have. And there's the job. There we go. Good save, Helsy. We could have kept Jason, I definitely would have. I definitely would have. Dude was one of our best relief pitchers and would have probably helped us out a lot more, too. But it is what it is. We'll, we're doing just fine without him. Having one of our best seasons after moving on from him, and he's having one of his best seasons. So it's like a win win right there. Uh, but there we go 41. We got the 40 wins. No other teams in 40. We got someone close, though. Brewers are close, but no one's quite there. Now is a divisional game. We got the San Diego Padres, Efren Contreras, Joe Musgrove, and Matt Straham. Ah, that sounds like three dubs. Sounds like three doves. We're winning nine to eight. Otani's a double to complete the cycle. That's a double. Oh, that's doable. <laughs> uh, I thought they were trying to do a play on words, but it. Uh... So here we go. Three for three. You got a home run, triple, and a single. All we need is a double here in the rain. That's just a nice little gapper, Otani. That's just a nice little gapper here. That was slow. That was slow. 85, 72. And he's got some slow stuff. Not going to be a single, but Otani will go four for four with a double at least. Hey, what a drive that one. There you go. So, way to go, Otani. You get that at least. There you go. Left fly. Manager's telling us to steal. He's going. Four, four. Pick Probably would have stole that base, but we got walk. Gabriel Richard. Moreno now 0 and 1. Moreno. And this game's over. We might as well still. Oh shit. Oh, he could have tagged me and got me into a. Got me into a triple play right there. He's fucked up. Shout out. The third base of the three. Jorge Mateo. 1 1 2 Mateo. The speedster. I don't know why I paused, but. Deep hit into right field. Snag it. Otani's up in the nine. Oh, we get a chance again. We get a fucking chance. All right, double. Double. What a fucking double. We want a double. We want a double. We got speed everywhere. So a double would score both. So it doesn't get the cycle, he doesn't get the cycle, but still phenomenal hitting. Phenomenal hitting today. Alright, so we got Musgrove and Strahan. Down 0-1. We got Mateo on second. And Jackson Merrill's up. The former Padre. That should be a good hit. Should be. Should be. Now batting. Second base. Pause, pause, pause. Yeah. So there's Jonathan shooting, not Machado. Got Luis Camposano out there. Yeah, he's got a good arm. He, we're not going to try to steal with. Uh, we're not going to try to steal. 
with Mateo. Oh my god. I wish that we were giving those. Attack that inside part of the plate. And he goes to the other side. Mm. At least we're making contact, throwing nothing but fastballs at me. Oh, this dude's got nothing but heat. Drop. Did not drop. Now it's Curtis Me, buddy. Not gonna get far enough. One nothing loss. Damn. Soroka, man, I'm sorry. Hell of a game. That sucks. Uh, Levi Kelly's hurt. Braves are interested in offering us a trade. They want to give us second baseman. Vidal Bruhan for Andy Pajes. I'm going to say no. All right. Now I got Strahan against Lazardo. Hurt his hamstring. We'll be out a few days and we lose. Shit. And we lost, so we lost that fucking series against the Padres. That's not good. Not good at all. Fuck. All right, come on, come on, come on. We got to bounce back strong here against a weak Kansas City Royals team. We're back at home. Even though our record this season is worse at home than it is on the road. Come on, let's give our fans something to fucking cheer on. Two dubs. There you go. There you go. Two dubs. Shutout going for Aaron Nola here in the ninth. We got Perez up. Salvador Perez. I don't know how he's still playing. He's got to be 40. All right. How old is he now? Like 35? Oh, he's 33. Oh, he's 33 now. Okay, he's a little bit younger than I thought. So he's probably, he's up there in age, though. He is up there. This is probably going to be one of his final seasons if this isn't his last season. House smashing a three run home run and win over Blue Jays. Throw that knuckle curve again. Ball. Oh. One ball. No strike. Called that a strike against me, fuck. Far in. Ball. Oh in. Fuck you. Everything's just hitting the outside part of the plate. Can I just get something on the inside? Almost had his elbow. 
Fastball low and away. Underneath it. Curve. Swing, man. You're the sixth batter. Fuck you. Swing and strike the fuck out and then sit the fuck down. Little fastball. Oh my god, um. Two run home run. Yeah, fuck you. This uncle wants a fucking home run so bad. Hundred and twenty fucking pitches for Nola. That's gonna be a run. There you go, game. There you fucking go. Congratulations. Thanks. Appreciate it. Wanted nothing but fucking balls. Nothing but fucking balls. Ball here. Ball there. That's fucking stupid. Your attention, please. Pop out there, two outs to Garcia, hits a single, ties the game, a walk, and a strikeout. Jackson Merrill flies out, Jake McCarthy grounds out, Curtis Mead gets walked, steals second, Corbin Carroll hits a single, and we win the game. There we go. Young and Mead stealing bases, Carroll coming in clutch. It's about time Corbin Carroll can be our lead off guy. Toddy gets player of the game, Hader gets the win. Fucking bullshit that Nola fucking blew it. Throwing strikes and they're getting called balls and every fucking pitch is just barely outside the fucking plate. Uh, Sardo is back to being healthy. I'm gonna take you back out. You still need to work on your control, buddy. Control is not getting that much better even though we're making you focus on it. Baltimore. Another weak opponent, a little bit more losses than the Kansas City Royals team that we just swept. So hopefully this can turn out to be another good series for us. Starting off with two losses. Okay. Three losses. We get swept by the Baltimore Orioles. Phenomenal. Another weak team in the Colorado Rockies, but we're in Colorado, so they'll probably whoop our ass and get swept again. Starting off with a win. Otani has a finger contusion in today's game. We'll be out a week or two. Damn it. Aaron Nola will be out a few days with a strained finger as well. Stop the fucking simulation for fun. Jesus, there's injury after injury after injury. I don't even have a completed fucking lineup here. Ugh. Okay, okay, okay. So basically we're DHing now. Five six six. Jake McCarthy's the worst fielder, but against lefties, I'd want Lloyd Puckett in, and he is an even worse fielder. So I'm gonna put Lloyd Puckett in at DH, and against righties. We might go Pajes. We're going to go Andy. Throw the shed up there. Batting second. Don't want Pajes batting second. We will... Put Jack's in there. Put Jake there. Put Jake in number two. Pajas will bat eighth. Yeah. So we'll do that. And Lloyd Puckett will not be batting there. We 
might be able to bat second, though. Yeah, we will have Lloyd Puckett, Puckett uh, bat second for our team. Okay. All right, and did another injury fucking happen? Nola's out for a day. Otani's gone. Swanson's gone. Fucking Devin Burrows is gone. Uh, give me this injury bug. We don't have a... F oh, yeah, that's right. Otani's a fucking pitcher with us, too. And Nola's fucking hurt. Anton Zambrano. We're just going to have to skip your turn in the rotation, basically. So we got Soroka and then Lazardo pitching. Should be a dub. Top of the ninth, Gonzalez is trying to close us out. Come on. Our team is fucking blowing chunks right now. Blowing chunks. Team's not hitting. Team's not scoring. Team's just losing to shit teams. This is like the end of last season. So man on second. One out. We want to get a nice little gapper in the outfield. And I'll tie the game. All right, so that's going to be an out, but we do advance the runner over to third. That's fine. That's going to bring up Jake McCarthy. He's got a double today, man, 235 and 11 home runs. Let's go, McCarthy. No! That fucking slider, man. At these higher levels, these pitches fucking break. Man, they fucking break. Teo got a home run today, two for four. Let's go. All right, so we split the series against Colorado. Uh, so, I mean, we're still two games ahead of anybody else, but the Padres are at 45. Giants are at 40. Holy shit. It's like the Blue Jays, Rays, and Yankees division right now, but even tougher. You got four teams with 40 fucking wins. Jesus Christ. Miami Marlins are up next. We're back at home. Come on. Starting off with a loss. But I said... Stop, 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 stop. And he's not supposed to be... <sighs> Fuck, that's my fault, that's my fault, that's my fault. That's my fault. Brano pitched a game, like he actually pitched a game, and he got lit the fuck up. Yep, he got lit the fuck up. Uh, who would have fucking thought? All right, Johnny House in up against Miami. They're gonna lose. We're gonna lose. Shit. Robert Gomez. Mm. He took the L. Chicago now. They're forty-seven and thirty. They're one of the toughest teams in the league right now. Both of us are fucking battling for first place in mm. our division. We're one game ahead of the fucking Padres right now. I need these wins. I need them. Bottom of nine, tied game, Castro win. He's going for his second inning pitched. Fucking come in, strike those fuckers out, or at least get him to hit into something. Stop fucking hitting nothing but home runs. Get a fucking ground out, computer. Like, you aren't letting me strike you out. You're not fucking, you're letting the ump fucking call strikes balls. One ball, no strikes. This is pop out to Soto. Out number three. That's the end of the night. Going to extra innings now. Fucking speed. We got fucking speed. Corbin Carroll on on fucking second. McCarthy up. He's gonna strike out. Bo Bichette gonna hit a single and score. Corbin Carroll. We're gonna steal with Bichette. Move him on over to second. Eliminate the double play. Juan Soto up. He gets walked. Ben on first and second. Gabriel Moreno. He pops out. Come on, Mateo. Extend the lead. He pops out. Shit. 
pitching change. We're going to bring in Ryan Helsley for the save. We got Tyler O'Neill up, Ian Happ on second. No, they're going to put Bryce Thompson on second. Pitcher O'Neill, he grounds out. Suzuki grounds out. Dansby Swanson strikes out, and we beat the Cubs 4-3. to three. There we go. Big dub there against a very tough team. Like, our team does really well against tough teams, but, like, really sucks against shitty teams. Like, we give shitty teams wins. Andy Pajas, player of the game, got a home run in RBI. Hell yeah. Win goes to Miguel Castro, too. So we're still on the road. We're going to beat them. Otani. We're going to... Keep him on the 10-day injured list. I don't want to overdo it with him, so we're just going to wait until he's fully healthy. Uh, we beat Chicago in a three-game series, 2-3. to three. Now we got the Pittsburgh Pirates. They're 29-53. They trade a lot of their young guns away. They still got Jason Dominguez over there. Come on. There we go. Tani is no longer injured and is coming off. Place on bench. Stop. Not going to stop. Johnny House is instead going to get... An opportunity. He's coming in. He's coming in. Now we got Aaron Nola where Otani is supposed to be. So basically, Nola is going to be losing a start. For the Pirates, the shortstop. This week to Otani. So let's go. Johnny House. Strike one. one. There you go. Throwing a splitter down low. And on over to third baseman. Division throws the arm, and he's got him. Now Barely got him, but they the got him. Guerrero. Cannon Smith and the Jiba. And Jigba. Never heard of you. You might be a drafted player. That is second in their uh, lineup here. Well, that's off the plate. He's only thrown 65 pitches. Aye. Holy shit, Johnny. One out. You got one. Never, don't give me those, man. Don't fucking give me those. Come on, um, nowhere. I, even when I'm at bat, you don't fucking give me those. Double play. There we go. Man, if I was Johnny, I'd say fuck you up. As the fucking general manager of this team, I'm saying fuck you um, to almost everything. Jake Sawinski up. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout today. Let's see if we can make that two strikeouts. Strike one. Strike two. Try to get that in inside. Strike three. So Winsky goes down on strikes. Hey, one away. Ah. All right, so we're doing really good on the fastball, and our curveball's got break. Well, that's just not that, no, no control, which is the issue with Johnny House is he doesn't have control. He's got uh, everything else. There's no control. Laser beam. Fastball, interior part of the plate. Kind of where we got Sawinski. Got him looking. Piermar Johnson struck him out. Third baseman. West Cat now up. Let's see if we can punch him out too. Their sixth hitter. Strike one. 
Fastball seems to be doing work today. That's a ball. Curveball. At least stayed in the zone. I mean, really, with Johnny House's curveball, you can, you can literally just place it dead center because you don't know where the fuck that thing's going. <laughs> it, could, it could go way high, way right. You fucking hit the batter. <laughs> So good eighth in and striking out everyone. Here's Jason Dominguez batting seven. So not even. Who? Come on, I was ready to run. I was ready to run for that. Gone with the fastball. Going right back at it. Inside fastball. Popped him out. Soto coming under it. Out number one. The center fielder, number 12. Jackson. Chorio. Jackson Chario, 10 home runs, been 254. We're going to strike you out, buddy. Check swings, probably would have hit it. I think he had the area correct. Fastball. High fastball instead of a low fastball now. Popped him out, center field. Corbin Carroll under it. There you go, out number two. Up next for the Pirates. Henry Davis, the catcher, 0 for 2 with a strikeout. Fuck you. Oh no, no. Oh, we got the speed. We got the speed, and Johnny House gets his first career no-hitter. Complete game, no-hit, shut out. That a boy, Johnny. And now Otani's going to be back in the lineup tomorrow following this as well. This will be Johnny House's final game in the rotation. Hell yeah. Hell fucking yeah, Johnny. Everybody's congratulating the young lad. First time in his career. 14 strikeouts and one walk. Holy shit. Complete domination of the Pittsburgh Pirates. All right, so pitch and rotation. Otani, you're coming in for Nola. Nola, you're going to be back in for Johnny. Yeah, there we go. And we're going to go lineups, DH, Pajes, you're out for Otani against lefties. Lloyd Puckett, you are out for Otani. And 84 power. We're going to put you here. Keep a shot at batting second. He just doesn't have the home run prowess that Soto does. So we'll do Bichette batting second against lefties. Corbin Carroll. We need to switch him with McCarthy again. Starting to get cold. I think we're going to switch him back with McCarthy, 308. No, leave, leave Carroll there for the time. Uh. I'm going to put McCarthy in against lefties, and Corbin Carroll will be there against righties. They're both kind of tough. Do that. Against the lefties, we'll keep Corbin Carroll, I guess. Yeah, we'll keep Corbin Carroll against lefties because he's got better contact. 
we'll see how that goes. So against righties, it's McCarthy. Against lefties, it's Corbin Carroll. Swap you down there. Okay. 70. Chris Mead's going to be brought up. And Corbin Carroll against righties will be back down at 8. Yeah, we'll run it like that. We'll run it like that. <sighs> yeah, that'll work. That'll work. That'll work. Final game against Pittsburgh. 3 nothing shutout for Mike Soroka. Nice. Soroka over 100 innings pitched. Downs at 121. Fucking workhorse. But good win there against Pittsburgh. We sweep the Pittsburgh uh, Pirates. Still only three games ahead of the Padres. And this is going to be a tough race down the line. I think we should be... We're not even set for the wild card. Cubs are at 49. Cardinals are at 49. Below them, Dodgers 45-44 for the Giants. Jesus Christ, man. This is a tough division for sure. Final series, though, of this episode. 41-45. and 45. Seattle uh, Mariners. Uh, let me know what stadium you guys want to see for the all-star game because we are not going back to seattle it's just it's not happening uh year one was seattle year two was te uh, the texas rangers year three was seattle again i didn't like year one or three's all-star game or home run derby really i think we're gonna go somewhere else i think i might bring it over to colorado this season just so that way we can watch a lot of home runs. So I think this year we're going to go Colorado. So sorry for asking you guys to give me your input, but I've just decided this year's All-Star game will be in Colorado. So we're going to lose game one. Cabrera gets hurt. Lose game two. Win game three, though. Eight to six. So now one and a half games the Padres are behind us. It's going to be a tough race tough race i would say this was a bad month of june personally compared to how we started the season there was a lot of losses here in the month of june we were supposed to be separating ourselves and all we did was make it even closer and give other teams a lot of hope um transactions red sox call up right fielder miguel Blease. uh padres call up starting pitcher nick martinez yankees call up shortstop trey sweeney and the Angels call up closing pincher Trent, Trent Nixon. All right, trades-wise, how are we looking? It's for the month of June. All right, so not that big of a trading month. Twins acquire starting pitcher Michael Ryu from the Athletics for right fielder Masail Urbina. The Mariners acquire second baseman Vidal Bajan from the Braves in exchange for relief pitcher Matt Brash and Jonathan Clace. And then the Blue Jays acquire left fielder Akil Badu from the Nationals for third baseman Miguel Geraldo.
All right, so taking a look at our team, third baseman Kevin, uh, Gavin Conticello. Man, could not catch a break. Batted 116, over 69 at-bats. Chad Patrick, let the bounce back after a rough month of June. Put 765, 20 innings worked. Ron Falk struggled in June, 495 with 20, with 20 innings and five walks. Jordan Waller had an outstanding uh, Lawler had an outstanding month though, batting 290 and driving in 10 runs at 69 at bats. Alexis Jacquez had a good month of June, zero ERA through four innings, five strikeouts. And then Mario Campos had a good month of June, 2.16 ERA, punching out 21 batters in 31 innings pitched. So I mean the future looks bright, now looks bright. It's going to be very interesting how we decide to do this moving forward because Nola's. Nola seems to be dropping, and we still have him signed for three more years. It might honestly be... I mean, we extended him this year. He's still posting a 266 ERA this year. Like, it could be, like, we might not want to. What would, um... What would teams give us for him... JT Rila Muto. Oh, wow. So what are teams looking for? Starting pitching, starting pitching, starting pitching. Okay, Miguel Vargas. He's going in his final year of his contract. Phenomenal contact against lefties. Batting 281. He, all right, 300 past two seasons, 303 with the Dodgers, 2024, 300 with the Cubs, he's batting 281, 12 home runs, so it looks like he might be on pace for one for a career high this season. He plays second, first, third, and left field, so I like the utility of him. Second, first, third, and left field. Okay. Interesting there. And if I was just go here, select Aaron Nola, and suggest all. What would teams just send out a mass email right before the All-Star break? Who is interested in Aaron Nola? Peter Vanable, starting pitcher, 72 overalls. Okay, so we could get a really good pitching prospect, I guess. Young pitcher in our lineup. Garrett Whitlock. Wow, Whitlock. That would, that would be something. Uh, uh, more pitching prospects there. I go, please. A prospect catcher, 64 overall. That might not be too bad. Just for the catcher, and we would get Jake Ferraria. I mean, we were pretty set pitching wise. Mm -hmm. Paul Goldschmidt. Mm, we don't really need the depth, though. Don't really need the depth. Gavin Williams and Andrew Vaughn from the White Sox. That could be interesting. Gavin Williams and Andrew Chafin from the White Sox. Oh, there's a young and deal with the Guardians. Jordan Walker. Wow. 23-year-old Jordan Walker on the Tigers. Might become a Diamondback. Don't really need an outfielder, though. Uh, Majaya from the Tigers, too. Oh, we got fucking... Oh, we got youngins. So basically, we would be trading Nola away for, like, a 19-year-old with phenomenal, phenomenal potential. Um, catching prospects-wise, we do still have this Jason Nakamura dude. He's 22. I don't think he's going to be an MLB caliber player, at least not until, like, late in his career. He's got too much going on. So trading for that prospect might be good but i mean we do got a young guy in diego and gabriel morano moreno we're gonna have to pay both of them next season though yeah that'll be fine that'll be fine excited for the sam six though dude to come up at a 297 he plays first catcher third left 
anytime. I mean, he's got to get his fielding up if he really wants to be a first baseman or catcher or really anything, but he'll figure it out. He'll figure it out. Um, player of the month, right? Forgot player of the month. Uh, let's see. So for the American League, pitcher of the month goes to Alex Manoa, going four and one across five games with a 1.09 ERA, 41 strikeouts. Rafael Devers is player of the month with 101 uh, at bats, batting 396. Uh, sorry, 376, nine home runs and 22 RBIs. Rookie of the month goes to Texas Rangers right fielder Aaron Zavala, 29 at bats, batting 448, one home run and four RBIs. For the National League, Pitcher of the Month goes to Nathan Avaldi, going 5-0 and through 5 innings and a 2.51 ERA and 23 strikeouts. Mookie Betts has 86 at-bats, banged 384, 5 home runs, 18 RBIs. And then Rookie of the Month goes to Colorado Avalanche's Evan, Edward, uh, Evan Edwards, 87 at-bats, 287 batting average, uh, 4 home runs, and 16 RBIs. Dude, uh, why are you in the MLB? I don't even know why he's in the MLB. Um, one thing I did want to see. Uh, not here. League leaders. Home runs. Matt Olson was killing it. He's already at 41, dude. He's already at 41. What would... would, would this, I'm just curious. I'm just curious at this point. So... Put Aaron Nola there. Go... Who the Braves? Matt Olson. Not even close. What if we gave him, even if we gave up Otani, Gallon, and Soroka, they're going to say no. Okay. Tani, if we gave up, if we gave up Soto, they would give up Olson. But no, we're not going to do that. Uh, but 41 home runs in a single season is ridiculous right now for Matt Olson. Uh, but anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did.